I had such an amazing time at super training. Those guys took such, and girls, took such great care of me. Um, a long time ago, I remember having this conversation, I don't know with who, but the gist of it was, I think being on the PowerCast is like one of the ultimate things that you can do in regards to exposure, of course, but in regards to being recognized for doing something um, in like the powerlifting and strength world. Um, so I did that. And I'm gonna have to reassess my life goals. <laughs> I think I haven't really quite, there's just so much going on right now that I haven't quite given myself the opportunity to just sit and be like, wow. Um, not that I like made it, but I should be proud of how far uh, how, like I've grown and how I've kind of uh, started from not really being at all popular to over the past couple of years sort of being um, what I like to think an ambassador for powerlifting uh, and hopefully the gateway to get a lot of people into powerlifting uh, that's kind of my goal and to be recognized by someone like Mark Bell and the people that he works with is a big honor. So I'm super stoked because of that. And no time to really sit and like ponder and appreciate it. Uh, although I'm appreciating it every second. But what I'm trying to say is the work doesn't stop there. And I realize that uh, I just need to continue to set the bar, bar higher for myself as far as strength goes and definitely as far as where my channel goes and what I want to do with it. So thanks to everybody who's supported me and even if it's just as small as like you liking a video i really do appreciate it because uh if it weren't for you guys watching and if it weren't for you guys appreciating uh or finding some kind of value or entertainment in whatever i'm creating then i wouldn't be here i wouldn't be doing that i wouldn't have had the opportunity to lift with all those cool people that i've been lifting with so thanks to you guys thanks for everybody who's like seen something in me and I love ya. And thanks for watching all my super training videos. I hope you guys enjoyed them. I'm gonna turn this off and record another video cause there's more shit going on, so. Hello my strong, strong friends. I'm back in Mid City Gym. Can you tell because of the lighting? But I'm here with some special friends. I'll show them to you in a second. They're lifting right now. I have a pretty serious bench session. Serious, but it's kind of heavy. I work up to 150 pounds. My wrist is hurting a little bit. This is my first like real session. I just got back from super training last week. And I think maybe just from lifting so much weight all the time. My wrist is starting to hurt, but also I was benching pretty heavy two days ago. Uh, I did like 135 for a rep out set of eight, which is a PR. So we'll see how I feel warming up. I just took 135, it feels a little fluffy. Will you guys be in my YouTube channel? I'll be on your YouTube channel. I'm gonna take one more single instead of an AMRAP. I don't need to push it on that. Christian, can you give me a lift off? Yes, I can. So just like lightly do it, and oh, then I got you. unless I die, oh, no, I, got you. Uh, I trust you, but you know, I just wanna make sure, you gotta make sure your spotter knows. Unless I'm dying. You do not touch it. He knows it. <laughs> All right. I'm taking 150 for one more single. Christian's lift off was so damn good that I went for three. You know what? I hate when people lift you off and they give you so much momentum that you're like, oh, yeah, you gotta, you gotta yeah, because you you still want the lifter to feel it. Yeah. 
because uh, you don't want it to be like, yeah, some people like super lift it off yeah. for you, thinking that they're helping, but you did good. Next I have 5x5 at 1.30. I was using the slingshot gangster at, especially because I'm having a little bit of wrist pain. Hopefully it helps me feel a little bit better. So now I have volume. Fine sense of pain. I better hurry up because there's a thousand people waiting for the bed. I'm trying to just ever, ever so slightly uh, tuck my elbows a little bit more on the way down so that on the way up I can flare out. Now I'm not talking about tucking and flaring. I'm talking about I'm usually here. I'm talking about pulling down here and then flaring when I need it. It's probably even an exaggeration. <laughs> what if it's you? Huh? It's not me. Oh, that's, that's not you. I, that's what I'm scared of. It's like, I smell it and I'm like, fuck, everyone thought it was me. It's not me. Like, trust me, I have, I have manners. I won't <laughs> You just hold it in? Honestly, this is a little secret for Meg Squat's Meg Squat world. Oh, yeah. Only 80,000 people are listening. I've had so far since we got off the plane. I've been holding it in the whole time. Whoa, really? Yeah. You can let it go. Yeah, like The butt clenching technique. <laughs> practice that at home. You clench, you breathe out. Every time you clench, you breathe Whoa, out. Whoa, you're going to you're gonna die if you keep doing this. I'll let it out there. Be, <laughs> be careful. Question for you. When are you going to do another show? Because you did one in the summer, right? I'm actually thinking about changing my gender. I'm doing a figure show. Whoa, sick. I really you know, this is it. like, in all seriousness, this will be happening. That will be happening soon. Soon? I think so. Okay. It's sort of happening already. There's someone in mind that I think is interested in competing powerlifting who is, has made the transition. Bro? Yeah. Okay. So, you're going to be... I'm not doing that. Oh, why not? Oh it's possible. God. Again. 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 Sorry, maybe it's me. Yeah, my next show will probably be. Again. I'm gonna start prep, like after all the holidays, so like January 3rd. Okay, is cool. My ideal day. And I'll probably just prep all the way until like June. I was talking to Emily Hayden. Yeah. Like, me and her thinking about doing a show together. Oh, cool. It's yeah, she's shredded. Yeah. She's a national show, aka my mom. Emily Hayden is. Huh? Emily Hayden's your mom. Yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah. She, she it looks like it. Black babies, yeah. <laughs> it's weird. It's amazing. It once in a hundred times. But anyways, uh, I think about doing a show with her in June in like the Midwest region. Oh, I'm not cool. Really sure on like the application, but yeah. that's my. Why Midwest? That's the only show that I've been able to. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Cool. Yeah. Well, we'll keep an eye out. Yeah. Maybe. Or a mini show. California, somehow, somewhere. Do you have to qualify for the show? Huh? Do you have to qualify for it? Like, Should I flex? Well, you're not already? No, I'm not. Should I start flexing now? Uh, yeah, you should be flexing at all times. I think yeah. you know this. Uh, uh, what if I did the show with you? No. Did you no. ever do it? Oh, you've already done a show. I did a bikini. Yeah. Like did I like it? No. I hated every second of it, except for training. The diet, man, I can't diet that hard. I don't know. You, that's for you and Emily Hayden, Christian Guma. It's not fun. I mean, no, it's not fun. Yeah. It's not something that I really, I don't think about competing again. I'm like, hell yeah, the diet. I think about how I look when I go on stage. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's the aftermath. No. So, the dieting part sucks. It's always going to suck. Yeah. Unless you're crazy. That's why I won't do it. I'm crazy, but not that kind of crazy. But she just told me, like, before we recorded this clip, that she was doing a show in June with me. So, if she doesn't do it, she's lying to me. Big announcement! <laughs> Coming at you live from Times Square. Just finished the workout. Bye, see you later! What'd you guys, oh, this way, this way. No. What if I was like, bye, see ya! I'm escorting these two young gentlemen back to their hotel room, make sure they get home safe and sound. You know, on these streets, it's dangerous. Don't wanna be lost. Just kidding, New York, is, New York is very, very safe. So you know, especially you're like super busy area, might be like pickpockets. Stand next to Charlotte and you'll be okay. Yes, New York is super safe. This is probably the, not that it's the least safe area, but it's just so busy that more, more stuff goes down. Next time you guys come, or if you guys have time, I'll show you like real New York. 
and you might have a little bit more enjoyable stay. Yeah. I'll show you like where people live, not where people uh, okay. come visit. Um, but nonetheless, it's like exciting to be in Times Square. Yeah. It's like, yeah, sure. it's a sight to see for sure. We'll see you throughout this week. Yeah, we'll try and, we'll try and link up. Um, so that's gonna be the end of this video, you guys. Hope you enjoyed hanging out with these two young, sexy, single, <laughs> single? Single. <laughs> single, single young men. Christian single too. If you're a hot babe, go hit them up on the grand, slide in those DMs. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, just slide on in. Um, <laughs> make sure you guys like the video and subscribe to Shali and Christian's channels if you're not already. If you're not already, then do you even want to be an alpha elite? Are you even? Do you want to be a beta elite? Or do you want to be a beta elite? So if you don't sub, then that's the answer. Bye! Some of you may be watching and thinking, why didn't you just put more plates on, Meg? I know you want to comment it. I know you want to, but don't, okay? Let me have 400. Just let me have it for a moment.